Okay, so first job is to uh, straighten the picture up. There we go. Lovely. And then the next job, get the crop tool and make the appropriate crop. Perfect. So then we need to go to our rule settings and find uh, film negative and that will once you click on that button that will turn it into a positive so then you need to um, change the picture to black and white like that and then we'll uh, adjust the exposure to you know something like you you actually visualize what the picture is going to be there we go by moving the black point and the lightness like that so then the next job is to flip the picture horizontally so that it's correct and so then the next job will be to send that to the queue by clicking on the cogs on the thumbnail which you can see has added it to the queue and then if we just click on that button there the um, processor will start processing those actions that we've applied to this picture now you can add a bunch of them to the queue and have them all done at once in a batch so that's that bit done so we then find our picture which is in converted and we open it with GIMP and finish off the the work in GIMP as we did yesterday to um, you know to get the picture looking absolutely spot on so there we go and so we'll go check that we're in RGB mode which we need to be then levels and just some fine adjustments on the level so just to get it exactly as I like it okay and then colorize colorize you can only do in um, in RGB mode of, for obvious reasons there we go 6.1 click OK on that and then we need to reduce the size because we're going to use it on the internet so scale image put 1500 in automatically it will recalculate and there we go and then filters enhance sharpen as all as we did yesterday and then export the picture I always, because it's a smaller version, I always put underscore SM there and export, and there we go, job done.